We're going to talk about lettuce. I mean, there are so many different types of lettuce, really too many to go into now. Uh, my favorite ones would be the loose-leafed types, the yeah. Lolla Rossa or the oak leaf okay. type of lettuces. Yeah. And, and I'd sow them every two weeks, okay, right, yeah, the quantity I need. So if we eat five lettuce a week, I'll sow 10 plus four for the slugs yeah. or the leather jackets. <laughs> and lettuces won't germinate over a certain temperature, and that's about 24? 24, 24, 24 degrees, degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even today, you know, with the sun shining, you yeah. might get very warm temperatures yeah. above 24 degrees and then the lettuce will stop germinating and it will become dormant. Yeah. Weeks later, a week or two later, an odd one will lose the dormancy and reappear. If we, if we sow them today now, Andrew, we'll move the tray into the shed okay. and for three days, mm -hmm. just three days is all that matters. Then they can come back to the heat. Now we sow them quite differently and that's important for lettuce. Lettuce needs to be sown shallow. So the way we do it, we fill our seed tray, overfill it and to firm it as Again, a couple of bangs, and that settles the compost in nicely. Now, here's the important bit, really. If you sow lettuce too deep, it won't germinate. So I actually tend to sow it just on the surface. So I make the slightest indentations, because they're quite small and fiddly. Again, I put them on a piece of paper, and I sow one seed per cell, and that's for a head of lettuce. If I grow them for cotton come again, I sow three or four seeds per cell. So once they're sown, I don't cover them up. I just leave them on the surface. At most, if you don't trust it, you can do that a tiny little bit of compost just on it. They really need light to germinate. When it's all finished, we'll water them in gently. They have to be kept moist at all yeah. times. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Mm. For the first while. They should take three to four days to germinate. Right, okay. Does that and right conditions. Could you imagine? That's yeah, very quick. That quick, yeah, yeah, that quick. Right, our lettuces have come up nicely. Now, I've got two uh, modules here. Um, one of them is multi sun, so you can see that we've got uh, uh, one or two, three little uh, seedlings there, and this one is just a single one. They're very quick growing. Once you plant them five weeks later, yeah. they're ready to harvest mm. the head of. So any reasonably good, friable, you know, nice structured soil mm. will do. Now iceberg, because it grows quite big, we need to space it wider. Okay, so what so sort of space? So about 40 centimetres. Okay, so that's quite a lot already, Whereas the it? other ones, we can get away with 25 to 30 centimetres yeah. a foot. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely crucial that you plant your lettuce level with the soil. Or even, like you said, let them stick out a tiny bit. Mm. Because if you cover the base, there'll be a stem rot. Mm. Anything that's too loose, that when you lift it up like that, if it would dry for a while, yeah. they'll just die. They'll just dry out, yeah. So we want to get a good contact with the surrounding soil. So we're sort of sealing yeah. it, if you like, and allowing the water to... Yeah, so the roots can root out into it. Yeah. I love the colour in the garden, isn't it, of the mixed... Uh, Beautiful, yeah. ...mixed Beautiful. types. Yeah, it's a lovely mix of colour, isn't it? Mm. That's a red salad bowl type. Yeah. And then you have the normal green butterhead. Yep. And that's a cos lettuce. Pinocchio is the variety. Okay. And uh, th there's multi sown Two seeds went into each cell. That's the uh, marvel of our season. And mm. uh, probably the little gem here. Cos, a small yeah. cos. Yeah. And then apart from the dreaded slugs, um, are we looking out for any, any pests or diseases that might be troublesome? You sometimes get the, the lettuce root aphid. Right. Which, uh, but you'll notice your plant will look stunted. Yeah. Okay. And that often is the case when you do the cotton come again for too long. Right. That it, there's a build up. And it's, it's literally you pull the plant out and you, if you ever notice the white fungal, not, it's not fungal growth, white powdery stuff on yeah. the roots and tiny little maggots crawling around, that's lettuce root aphid. Right, okay. What you do then do is don't grow lettuce there for the next two years. Right, okay. You know, grow them somewhere else. And is that something that's fairly common? It becomes more common recent, in recent years, yeah, okay. absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then do we need to feed our lettuce? Ah, no, the not, really. not really, no, they're only small little things. If you feed them too much, too much nitrogen, yeah. you will get, uh, they will be much more susceptible to aphids. The garlic spray would be very beneficial on a regular basis, every week spray the garlic spray. Mm, do you want to taste? Season. The cos lettuce is actually the best yeah. for you. It has the highest vitamin content. Is that right? These, these are much mm. softer. That's the marvel of four season. That's really good. Oh, that'll be my favorite now to eat.